Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and wanted to create another video to show you how to implement a virtual phone number, set up extensions, uh, kind of an automated system to enable users to be redirected to the specific uh, team or specific department of your phone number and to also to set some programmatic uh, additions such as um, if it's a certain, if it's within business hours, do one thing. If it's a, not in business hours, do another thing. Uh, very, very cool stuff. So, in order to implement it, this, uh, we actually use the platform, the Twilio platform. Uh, Twilio is basically a company that enables you to uh, get a, uh, uh, different phone numbers across the world and actually add some really, really cool, simple programming and simple ideas. Uh, to enhance and, and do automated calls and a, a, a virtual phone systems and they accept you know inbound outbound SMS and do applications super cool company really really nice thing at uh, Twilio and also very very affordable nice prices and they just they work very very well so I'm just gonna dive in and show you what what we did and uh, how this actually works so again uh, we set up a new phone number and what we wanted to do just for this test uh, is uh, Any time that someone calls on a weekday uh, during uh, a s specific business hours, we want to enable them to actually go and then be able to, to dial into our sales department or to the extension of a, our um, a technical support or others. And uh, if it's not uh, within business hours, let's say it's on a weekend, it'll just redirect to another phone number that takes um, to one of our Google Voice numbers that actually just takes a direct uh, uh, redirects to a voicemail. So really, really cool stuff and I'll show you the actual programming, how it works, pretty simple. So number one, what you want to do, of course, is actually go to Twilio.com, register, and uh, you want to actually go and uh, put money in your account and set up a number. So you basically can buy numbers uh, pretty simply. Uh, we bought this number right here. It costs for a local number, it's I think a dollar a month, and uh, for an 800 number, two dollars a month, and then international may have different uh, fees. But very simply, so uh, the first thing which I wanted to do is I basically wanted to go to numbers and I click on our number right here, and I wanted to set up uh, to tell it what to do when a voice uh, call comes in, and you can do inbound and outbound. And uh, what happens when a message, an SMS, a text message comes? So right now we don't care about handling text messages. So I basically uh, just just a, a, uh, kept it blank. So what I did is I actually started creating a script, um, and I told it that anytime a message comes in, uh, sorry, a voice, a, a, a actual call comes in. Actually, we put a, a file on our web server. And uh, it'll run this file every time, and it'll do programmatic work for it. So um, I just it called it, and we'll get back to this in a second. So in order to actually get a tutorial and get more information about what we're doing, um, if you go to uh, Google, uh, sorry, to Twilio Docs, uh, and you go to this link, which we'll share later, you go to the IVR extensions, and this uh, explanation plus. Uh, um, zip file, actually template files will help you understand exactly what we're doing and of course you need to customize it and I'll walk you through. So really in short, this IVR allows you to create extensions. So things like when you call someone there'll be some kind of uh, intro message, automated message and then it'll ask you uh, for this press 1, for this press 2, for this press 3 and it'll, the script will know how to handle it. So. Um, we basically downloaded it and the script is, is pretty much in PHP. You can see there's other language examples, for example, in C Sharp if you uh, code in that language, but we wanted to do it in PHP. So it really explains like what happens. So when a customer uh, dials your phone number, it goes to Twilio server. Twilio server sends them to the URL we just mentioned here, and then it kind of handles everything on your server. Um, so that's kind of a, a basic idea. You can read more here on this page, which we'll share. So I'm going to dive into this pretty quickly. So what we said is anytime someone calls this phone number, run this thing. So we're going to go to our, our um, a, a FTP and we're going to actually edit this file. So let's go here and I'm going to go to the folder right here. Okay, so we're on our FTP client. We're using WSFTP. And um, we told it, if you remember here, handle-incoming-call.xml. 
So I'm going to go here, handle incoming call.xml, and I'm going to edit it. So it's pretty much a simple XML file, uh, XML format, that it just basically says the following. So um, basically, whenever you gather information about uh, whatever people are saying, um, actually handle it over to this file, handle.user.input. Okay, so it's this file which we'll get into in a second, right? So all you basically say, and you can find all the commands on Twilio, is uh, say in a woman's voice when someone answers the phone, welcome to Astral Web. Then say, obviously pause between saves, in order to, and say this, and then uh, it'll tell the instructions, for sales, press 1, for technical support, press 2, for 3, all other inquiries, press 4. Now, after you, you did this, this gather will actually listen to uh, the touchstone phone. If someone pressed it, it'll actually um, send that in to the handle user input, which will actually listen to what people press, one, two, three, or four, and actually know how to deal with it. And if someone didn't press something correct, it'll just repeat um, in a woman's voice, sorry, I didn't get your response, and then it'll kind of run this file again. Again, the same handle incoming call. It'll just run it again, start from scratch. If someone entered, let's say, number five, which is no such thing, right? Or, or something in that sort. So um, let's go here. I'm sorry, not number five, but they didn't input anything, okay? So now let's go to the file, and we go to this kind of handle input, user input, and um, we'll get to this in a second. But what it basically does, again, it's an XML format. And it, here it listens to the input. Remember, someone inputted a digit, one, two, three, four, four. And um, what it basically does, if the user press one, it'll run this. If it press two, it'll run this. If it press three, it'll run this. And you, obviously, you can add more and more numbers and change things. And if it didn't press anything, let's say they press seven, then it'll basically say in a woman's voice again, say, uh, sorry, you dial an invalid number, and it'll run the XML again, that whole first screen, this first thing one more time, okay? So uh, what we actually did, if you remember, so um, if they press one, basically it'll, re it, it, it'll do two things. So one, two, or three, if they press, one, two, three, four, or four, it'll press, it'll check if it's during business hours, it'll, it, it'll actually dial and redirect to our, another phone number. And if it's not during business hours, it'll redirect, you see right here, redirect to another kind of co uh, uh, Twimlet, which is their um, kind of Twilio's a, a own language that does some kind of information. It'll basically uh, redirect and uh, go to our voicemail, which we defined prior, and send you an email to the email you want to that you actually got a voicemail. And the message will be either a message you can type in text something like hello, or uh, we actually a, a recorded an MP3, so basically us saying, instead of the automated robotic voice saying something, you know, hi, I am not here, and you have to have pluses uh, between a, a, the space instead of spaces, and we recorded an MP3 saying, hi, you know, a, a personal message, hi, we're not here, please leave your name and number. Um, so. Uh, just to go to this this if statement, what we did again, which we explained, is we wanted to check what day of the week it is, if it's a weekday or weekend, and what hour it is. And we basically set this kind of quick thing, which says if it's not a, a Saturday or Sunday, so if it's a weekday, and it's between these specific hours, then it's okay to, to redirect to the call. If not, so if it's okay, if it's not okay to call, then redirect to the voicemail. If it is, then dial this specific number or extension or personal cell phone or stuff like that. So that's basically it. So once you have them on the server, I'm going to click don't save, then it should be ready to go. So I'm going to just give one more tip on XMLs, especially um, that. So XMLs, you want to always make sure they're uh, working correctly. You don't have double quotes or you didn't uh, close your, your um, tags correctly. And especially in PHP, what you want to do is um, you want to make sure that your encoding is correct, you don't have spaces in the wrong places, and things like, uh, you know, your quotes or double quotes are not closing. So everything is basically set, you, you validate, 
And if, in the case, you have a problem, um, what you do is under the dashboard, uh, sorry, under this called Twimio area, you'll have your dev tools. And if you have any kind of errors, it'll tell you here, and you can see what you did wrong. Here, for example, we made a mistake prior. You can see there was a 404 that the page didn't exist, or maybe our encoding was incorrect, or we did some kind of PHP error. So it's very, very simple. There's some documentation, but everything is very, very basic. So um, obviously you need to test it later, and because I'm using the microphone right now, uh, I'm not going to test it, but we have tested it. Everything works. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Super cool tool. Good job, Twilio. You guys are awesome. And uh, let me know if you have any questions on the comments on YouTube or on our website. We'll be happy to help with some more detailed, really cool stuff. Um, we probably later on will work on another video regarding event tracking on Google Analytics. So anytime someone calls you, you can actually track that, put it in your analytic data and stuff like that. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again. Appreciate it.